Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to the Coral Tower and we are here of course to finish our uh, our Scholar Quest line, at least for a Realm Reborn. We're at level 50, well we're at level 52 but you know what I mean. And we're going to be learning some new Nimian secrets with our, our buddy Alka Zolka and picking up of course Sacred Soul while we're at it. Alka Zolka wishes to propose another way you might rekindle your fairies' memories. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that while I was awaiting your return, I made considerable progress with the deciphering of my Nimian tablets. Much of what I have learned until now has pertained to the role of scholars within the military, however these latest texts offer insight into a scholar's activities during times of peace. As you can imagine, they were not the sort to let their restorative magics go to waste. One particularly stirring account describes their selfish efforts to combat the spread of a virulent plague which at one point threatened to engulf all of them. Naturally, they did so with the aid of their fairies, which is why I believe that similar acts of charity may serve to further awaken your winged companion. If you have a mind to test my theory, why not journey to Camp Bronze Lake? You will find no shortage of the sick and wounded there. Rukusa Furusa would doubtless welcome your services were you to offer them. He presides over the warm wine sanatorium so be sure to have a word with him if you decide to go. And here we are at Camp Bronze Lake, and uh, now this is this is the first time, and it's interesting that this is only happening for the first time at level 50, but this is the first time that we're really exploring the idea of the Nimian Scholar as a healer, as opposed to just a sort of military strategist, uh, because as we know, the... Limsa Luminson Arcanist is based very closely on the role of the Nimian Scholar and the Arcanist is of course a, a DPS class so the Nimian Scholar has got this far more uh, strategic military focus and like I say it's interesting that's only now at level 50 that we're actually starting to explore the more uh, the more healer origins of it. Hello and welcome to Brunswick if you desire treatment I Pardon you, wish to administer treatment? Are you even qualified to... Wait, you must be Grunty the Scholar. We are happy to accept any assistance you can provide. I am told you possess magics which can clean the body of toxins, impurities, and m m m m m m maladies. At the present, we have five patients visiting the springs who would benefit from this care. Pray attend to these individuals and return to me when finished. Now, there's someone around here that gives us a whole, um... Uh, who are you? What is this place? What do you do here? Sort of thing. But um, as I understand it, these are natural hot springs, obviously, uh, but they store wine in cellars that are underneath the springs. So they get uh, sort of heated up and they, they believe that the wine gives them these, uh, these curative properties. Short breathed invalid. <laughs> I, just, I just tried to bio him. Um, what are, what are we doing? Are we casting leeches? When have I, where have I put leeches? Because I know we have leeches on G. I've got leeches on 6, alright. <laughs> My lungs! I can breathe again! Bless you, sir! Bless you! You're welcome. The fairy strains to remember. See, I don't know if it's because we're doing uh, curing magics or just because we're spending so much bloody time with the fellas. Wine soaked invalid. That's the best kind of invalid to be, isn't it? Huh. What the? Why did you have to go and do that? Oh, bugger, now they'll take me wine away. Yeah, I feel you, buddy. I feel you. Sorry for the background noise, by the way. There's some, I don't even know what it is. It sounds like there's a bloody generator running outside at the moment. Wan-faced invalid. Eh, what did you do? You took something from me, something bad. I don't know what you did, but I'm glad you did it. Thank you. Oh, corrupted ether. Now, what's all that about? I don't imagine leeches are going to work on this one, are they? Um, let us 
Energy drain, burn some stacks. Alright. So what did we just do? Did we just pull that corrupted ether from his body? I think that's what the what the implication was. I'm not sure how that works uh, in a in a metaphysical sense, but uh, he was obviously cursed. Obviously cursed. Can we please? Come on, please. Please. Yeah, there we go. Dark spirited invalid. What? What's this warmth? Did you do that? I. I thank you, whoever you are. Alright, as you were. And we've got one more. Uh, looks like he's up top. Alright, let's. Here! Yeah. Heavy eyed invalid. Leeches for you. You. You set me free. I no longer feel his eyes upon me. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. The corruption lingers. Now that was just a that was just a crazy person, wasn't it? Um, Eos. I feel really weird when Eos like isn't doing anything. You know what I mean? I'm used to seeing like some auto attacks or something. I've been playing too much summoner. All right, that's the lot of the invalids. So let's return to our friend down yonder. Rakusa Furusa. Gotta love Lalafell names. I hate Lalafells, but I love their names. Incredible, absolutely incredible. What you did for those patients was nothing short of miraculous. Their commanding officers will be pleased to hear that they can return to active duty. You and Alka have my deepest thanks, Grunty. Alright. Treating the invalids has rekindled the fairies' her memories. Um, okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of back and forth here, are we? Okay. I'll talk to you guys in a minute when we're back at the Coral Tower. Alright, Alka, I assume you're gonna send us on another level 50 quest because I distinctly remember there being more than this. Ah, uh, Grunky, Rukuta Farut has helped me your potent magic to exceed all the expectations. Had a good time, did you? Hi, I thought you might. It warms my heart to see the two of you making such great strides, and it reminds me that I must work hard to see that I am not left behind. For the nonce, I will resume deciphering the Nimian tablet. Though they have yielded an immense quantity of information on the scholarly arts, I remain confident that they contain an equally impressive wealth of tactical information. Alright, there we go, there's our sacred soil. Soyle, sacred soiree. The fairies imparted to you knowledge of a new art. Now, where do we put that? Uh, no. Um, ba 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 ba. Yeah, that's fine. I can go there. All right, Alka. Let's, uh, let's continue on. And finally, Lustrate, of course. I, I, it surprises me for some reason that we don't get Lustrate until level 50 because it's a skill that Scholar really leans on, isn't it? Alkazolk has an urgent request. Grunty, you must come with me at once. Another Tombe has emerged from the Hwendo's Palace. A traveling pedal caught sight of the fiend and fled to Camp Bronze Lake. Once again, it falls to the Mordor's Guild to find the threat. This time we will hunt the Tonberry in greater numbers so that we might surround it and cut off all avenues of, of, of escape. I have not forgotten our previous attempt to slay one of the foul creatures. Nor have you, I trust. I have your assurances that you will keep your fairy in line this time, yes? Then let us make for Camp Bronzek at once. Our comrades have already departed and I do not wish to fall behind. We will rendezvous with them at the same place we battled the first Tonberry. Okay. Geez, Alka is stuttering even more than usual today, isn't he? Um, so we are immediately straight back to Bronze Lake. Okay. It seems like that that, uh, that last quest was kind of shoehorned in 
uh, like I say, precisely because we actually haven't had any quests uh, explicitly dealing with the the more healer nature of the Nimian Scholar yet, have we? Uh, I suppose these, uh, these rows are with us. I'm going to assume so. The Beast Within. Alright, let's do it. We're not going to fail this one, alright? Not like last time. <laughs> last time was a bit... Uh, uh, let's just forget about that, shall we? All right, here we are. Thank the god you have come, Grunty. Any later we might have had to proceed without you. The Tomberry appears to be in some sort of trance and is oblivious to our presence. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Uh oh There's some creepy void thing going on there. There's bloody mucky. Excellent. Remember, we must surround the fiend. It cannot be allowed to flee. My son. My dear son. Stay away. I cannot. I don't remember the voice I gave the Tombray. <laughs> I'm also trying to be quiet because it's actually, it's, uh, it's quite late at night. Oh. Oh, he just, oh. That's, uh, hmm. Okay. Damn it, not again. It's the sanctuary inside the Wanderer's Palace. Or what, are we going into the Wanderer's Palace after it? Come, let us follow and finish it once and for all. Oh, we are, aren't we? Oh, I totally forgot. That's awesome. Yeah, we totally are. I, I had completely forgotten they were actually entering the Wanderer's Palace for this one. Although, where's, where's Alka? Oh, they're up ahead, are they? Okay. Why would I have let them run ahead like that? Tomberry Creeper. <laughs> that's, uh, that's accurate. Alright, let's get this down. Let's put a... Sa sacred Soil, please. Oh, I need stacks, don't I? Yeah, let's just put a Sacred Soil down, because why not, right? Why the fuck not? Vengeance. Rancor Flame. Interesting. Interesting. I don't, uh, I don't seem to remember. Oh. Bane doesn't work on it. So what does work on it? Nothing. Okay, I think we just have to, uh, we have to leg it. Leg it off away from that. Soft Marauder. Okay, let's deal with the Hexer first. I think would be the, the smart thing to do. Alright, let's try and avoid that slow. We can bane that one. Alright, that's good. Die, die. Ooh. That's interesting. So, I totally forgotten that they were presenting as these weird sort of flame things here, but, um,. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, it's uh, it's generally accepted that it was the the Marquis that uh, did the escape. Uh, I swear you had a different title last time. That uh, that cursed the Nimians uh, with the the Rancor. Um, but it's interesting how it's presenting as some sort of sentient ethereal uh, thing. Anyway, Tonberry Wanderer. All right, well, let's, uh, uh, can we bane again? No, not yet. All right, never mind. Oh, geez, they're dropping quickly now, aren't they? Now Alka Zolka's on the case. And I just realized I wasn't in Cleric. How long have I been out of Cleric Stance? Good God. All right, there we go. Let's give him a succor. Um, let's get ourselves in cleric stance. I really thought that we started this in cleric stance. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, is this is this the one? Is this our uh, our old mate? Ooh, fetid fairy. That's not that's that's no fairy. 
That is no fairy. So I guess some of the fairies were affected by the Rancor? Is that the implication here, or is this just a... What's going on? Is this just a general void set? Um, apologies again, it's very late at night. I'm, I'm, I'm... Everyone's grudge? What? Don't do that. Uh, I'm very scattered, and we need to make sure to keep Akazaka alive with all these Rancors creeping up. What did I do there? Oh, I hit Succor. I meant to hit uh, Adlo, but I guess Sucker is not such a bad thing since we're taking damage as well. So let's do that again. Is that it? We done? Oh. What? Again? Why'd you protect this demon? Hey, come on now. That's a bit harsh. Hmm. The strong and silent Gruntamolus Dindagrebel heal the Tonberry Wanderer. Okay. Have you gone mad? That's a good monster. It must be put down. Put, 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 put down. I put down. Let's give it a sucker. No, that didn't work. Let's give it a physic. Does that work? Yeah. Rancor, it... I... You little gross fishtail. Lily, my son! Why are you here? Who has summoned you? Blah, 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 says Grunty. The Nim... Nim is no more? Fifteen hundred years, can it truly be so? I, I was Cerrito Carito, and that everyone is a very clearly Lalafellian name. We're gonna, we're gonna see uh, some more implications of that in a second. Before this sickness from the sea transformed me. Sickness from the sea, interesting. The traders, they were the first, and their ears and noses began to atrophy, and their limbs grew shorter, and their skin. Now, I've speculated before that Traitor's Spurn, which is the one what did the Sildians, was uh, was based off of this. It's interesting, he's saying the Traitor's got it first. We scholars tried to halt the spread, tried to find a cure, but in time, we too fell ill. Sympathy turned to fear, fear to anger, anger to hate, hate to the dark side. Then... You were once a man? They sealed the stick within the temple with magics. Tried to drown us. Tried to forget us. Now our bodies had been changed, our, our minds remained intact. But within every man lurks a beast. When those whom call you kin deny you, come to hate and despise you. Why is Grunty smiling? <laughs> I too succumbed to the Rancor until you reunited me with Lily, my dearest son. Oh, I see. So the uh, the actual uh, curse and the Rancor are apparently two separate things, and the Rancor is kind of like you know the inner beast or the or the darkness. Uh, in the case of the the Dark Knight, and um. And that's what we were fighting off. Okay, that makes sense. Long has my mind been clouded with hatred, but by the resplendent light of Lily, at long last I am free. Just like that, huh? All right. There he is. I assume that's the echo allowing us to see that one.
Well, there we go. How about that? So the curse puts them in isolation. Their isolation makes them butthurt and then they develop the rancor uh, of their own psychological duress. So wait a bleeding moment. That Tomberry used to be a scholar like you. So does that mean you'll turn into one of them if you keep singing those spells? Or did I misunderstand what he said about that? Oh, hell's with it. All right. Hell's with it indeed. What about you, soft marauder? I came expecting to fight one time, Barry, not a whole bloody mess of them. If it wasn't for you and your flying friend, I reckon we'd not have left there alive. Gotta say, you and Al can make a great team. Shame there ain't more of you scholarly types around, because I could use a partner like you. Take care, Grunty. I... I nearly killed him. Thank to God that fairy stopped me. I wonder, did he know it's the retort from the beginning, or was it only... In any case, she has regained a good portion of her memories, if not all of them, I suspect. Well, if you would excuse me, I need to take some time to put my thoughts in order and decide how I might explain this to the Axe Master. Alright, well, there it is. There's our, uh... Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on a minute. If the traditions of my people have not been lost to the ages, it's of great comfort to me. I do not know how that soul crystal came into your possession, but I'm glad that it did. For the sickness robbed me not only of my body, but of Lily as well. The soul of the skull no, res no longer resonates with my ether. I cannot summon her. Only you can. Only you are fit to wield the magics now. Here, a gown as befits a scholar of your standing. I bequeath it to you along with the knowledge of Lustrate, my most powerful art. I cannot thank you enough for purging the rancor from my heart. But there are still countless others who have yet to see the light. I cannot abandon them to their fate. I will not. And so I bid you farewell, Grunty. Carry on our traditions with pride. Okay. Skull's gown, Argot gown, and most importantly, illustrate. So Rito Carito has bequeathed you knowledge of a new art, and that art is illustrate flying colors. Okay. All right, great. And that's that's it. We don't have to go back to the. We don't have to go back to the coral tower. We are done. All right, excellent. We are done. Look at that. And uh, the mark of Oshin, the Wanderer, patron of of Nim, glowing beneath us here. So that is skull level fifty. Uh, apologies again. Uh, I, uh, been having to talk very quietly for this one because it's very late at night. I don't know. I could have left to record this till the morning, but, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be, I'm going to be busy all day. I'm going to be doing things out and about. Um, so I thought I'd get this knocked over anyway. So what's, what's coming up next? Obviously I need to finish the main scenario quest, uh, to the point where I can start unlocking the, the heavens ward. Uh, job quests for summoner at, uh, at level 52 so until I get to that point we're going to be going through uh, first of all the Thaumaturge class quests since I've already recorded uh, a couple of those I recorded them when I first had to unlock summoner so that's what will be coming next uh, and then depending on how long it takes me to to get everything uh, ready for summoner at level 52 we might go through the conjurer ones as well i'll play it by ear but uh next time we're going to be doing some some thaumaturgy and some of the the fascinating lore there i seem to recall it's about a month ago that i recorded the first couple of episodes of that and we do we talk about some metaphysics we talk about uh the metaphysics of the the astral and umbral stances of fire and ice and all that good stuff uh there's a, there's a really good couple of episodes there so i hope you enjoy that i hope you you join us for that one but for now, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Goodbye.